This is one chapter of the 12, separated and posted. It was taken from my main one hour and a half tutorial, hyphen documentary video, to make it easier for crafters to use. If you don't mind watching the whole thing, then click on the link in the description and the pinned comment. Chapter 2. Correct Shape. Understanding the Physics. Capítulo segundo. Forma correcta. Comprender la física. First of all, it's important to understand what shape we need to achieve. Otherwise, we won't even know what bamboo stakes to choose. Let's say that we have a shaft that is thin on one end and thick on the other. If we put a string on it and pull, we will realize that the pulling forces on it are inconsistent. One side remains solid, while the other one bends too much the more it reaches its thin top. So, if you place an arrow there, by pulling back, you will see that it has already deviated from its original aimed path. So when we release, the arrow will fly badly and with no accuracy. This shape may be good for a fishing rod, but bad for a bow. Moving on to a shaft that is either completely straight and equal in thickness throughout its length, or thicker on its two ends. If we pull it back, then the entire pulling force is transferred in the middle. Such compression will soon break your bow. So the ideal shape would be this. I will exaggerate and call it an oval shape. It is thick in the middle and gradiently becomes thinner as it reaches both of its ends. Your middle is where the arrow sits on. So both muscles need to be equal in shape and size to achieve a strong and accurate bow. All forces work correctly to pull back and send off the arrow on your target. So what is the ideal thickness of bamboo for making such a bow? We should first understand some things about the structure of bamboo. This reed is like a bone or a tube. It is not a solid piece of wood. It has spaces with foam inside and the fibers surrounding with a strong shiny exoskeleton. It isn't hollow from one side to the other either, but has solid knobs every few inches called nodes. These nodes are solid wood, so when you're bending the bamboo shaft, the weak spot becomes the middle of these tubes. So when we're bending bamboo, we need to mind the two sides of the tube's walls. Let's think of these walls as a strand of molecules. By bending it, the top side stretches out while the lower side is compressed. If these forces exceed the capability of our material, then it will collapse and break. Now, if we use a thinner piece of bamboo, then it acts much closer to one strand of molecules, so there is less room between the two walls to collapse and crumble. So with thinner bamboo stakes, we have achieved our correct bending properties. But the thinner our bamboo gets, the weaker it is. How can we restore to our thin shaft the strength of thick bamboo? There is a limit on how thin your bamboo should get, but we will explore that later on. For now, we should simply know that by putting together many thin stakes, we're able to reach the needed thickness to have both bending attributes and being strong. That's the essence of what a bundle bow is. But what about the correct shape? If we place these rods together, even if we put half of the thick sides up and half of them down, we will end up with an equal in thickness bundle instead of an oval. The logic is simple. We can cut each piece a little shorter than the previous and put them together. That will make a gradient thickness pattern. Then we can rearrange our pieces together and make it comfortable to handle. But we need to be careful. I do not say the word gradient for no reason. If we strengthen a spot more than it needs to be, then we are creating a weak point. Our bow needs to work smoothly together as one piece. So, if we place two bottoms too close compared to the rest of the structure, the pulling forces will eventually break the bow exactly at that inconsistent spot. Remember, the thick middle bends thanks to the two thin ends. Give a balanced staircase structure. Now, how many stakes are too many? Bamboo is a very special material and can't reach its potential if we overdo it. If we make it too thick, then we take away its space to bend correctly. So it starts acting like a thick bamboo again, and it will break. Also, you need to have a comfortable handle. A large bulge is not our goal.